All right. So this one's an oldie, but a goodie. Now, I haven't used this channel in a very long time. I haven't used it since probably high school. Um, in that time, I've gone away. I finished high school, went through college, got a bachelor's degree, and now I'm back. And it's COVID time. So I've had more time on my hands than really ever before to play video games. And I think this was the one game series that I made time for um, back when I was in college. Because I, I got super busy and I just had zero time for myself. But I always made time for this series. And now it's been a few years since I've played this game. The first one at least. Um, and I'm interested to come back to it just to sort of ease myself back in and enjoy a good game. And also, I haven't played Life is Strange 2 at all yet, so I wanted to replay the whole series, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, uh, Captain Spirit or whatever that small um, little demo game was, and then eventually on to Life is Strange 2 because I haven't made time to play Life is Strange 2. So I think we're going to start off with Life is Strange, the original, the OG. We're going to play through it and just come back and enjoy this series. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> oh, 2018 was the last time I played this game. So it's two years. So, we'll start a new game and begin our adventure. iconic lighthouse that this game sort of centers around. Oh wow. It's always like a really like imposing sight to see that tornado. <laughs> So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. No, I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. 
Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can Aww. hear the class laughing at me now. Don't get so down on yourself, Max. Because of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's I bullshit. can't believe I still have this pencil case. Oh my god, I should have good to the Tama. 21st century. Seriously, though, <gasps> but I like it old school. I've never noticed that before. You in it's good to on the pencil case. And any one of you could do that to me. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? God, where does she get the time to actually journal? <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'll take the time to read that later. What if later. chose to capture people at the height My little of camera bag is races. battered, but still kicking. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. She took a selfie, man. Your generation was not <laughs> the first special. to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? It's a daguerreotype, but okay. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s yeah, on. Yeah, I went Sorry, to school Max. for no video production, right so I had many Cornelius. classes like this where we were talking you can about, find out all about him the history in of your textbook film or and all even of that. online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? <laughs> and people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Yeah, she just leaves it on the table like this? Oh, she's still in the room, okay. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I mean, even the A7s aren't that much. The the Sony mirrorless cameras are going for, I think, like, the best are like 1200 but that could be. Let's see. <laughs> JPEGs. Okay, I, I won't get into like, camera nerding but <laughs> the that's not a super great product description for a camera that would cost that much you have just jpegs by putting yourself out there in the world now, no matter who wins huh. this might make a cool shot i don't want it anybody is. to feel excluded from this process but i also want everybody to know that this photographic world is 
not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should oh, have totally. their chance. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Cup of I tea? I do that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Computer? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Did they, though? Did they? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Is this supposed to be a knockoff of Lightroom? Yeah, it looks like. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. I don't think I've really explored this room in this much depth. I didn't know there was like stuff on, on the walls that you could look at. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Aww. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Nice, nice. Some damn they hefty have tripods. fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. <laughs> All right, I feel like that's everything, and I was wrong. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? What? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. He's just a bunch of portraiture, really, though. It looks like he was just like a commercial photographer based on like everything that's around here, not necessarily like super aesthetic or anything, but whatever, I guess portraiture sells. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Again with the lighthouse. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Oh, okay, here's his landscapes. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. <laughs> Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Yikes. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Ooh, camera? Can I steal it? Ooh. That looks more like a video camera. Then like, yeah. With that Whoa. big Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Anyway, anyway, no one cares. <laughs> Oh. 
Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. 2013. God. That was a hot minute ago, wasn't it? <laughs> God, what was I doing in 2013? I think it was in middle school. <laughs> You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying $100. You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special I'm picture. Just They're just getting you ready. Because Max wants world. everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point she plays it so <laughs> sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that. <laughs> <'cause it's> so <laughs> Too late. Boring. She's so fucking shy. God, one of the things I just really loved about this game series was like the choice soundtrack music. Like it's definitely an aesthetic, but it's an aesthetic that I dig. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Watching the world from the bright side. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Oh, I always feel bad for Daniel. I shouldn't be. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Do it. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Don't let your dreams be dreams, Max. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. It looks like she's been gone for months. Ah, uh, yes. Rachel Amber. Well, we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> they should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. crying again? Is it because he got the question wrong? Now who would bother to write that crap? Look, I get it. But not I being able like to answer questions is not an excuse to, to cry in a bathroom. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <laughs> I swear there's a way to take a picture of that, but... Oh well. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Is she just carrying around a Polaroid?
You know, you're not actually supposed to shake Polaroids. It could damage, like, the chemicals that are in it that are used to develop the film. Fun fact. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example oh, of a photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Let's see if I can fix that camera. I did now, it. Hell yeah. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, and Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? When I took my selfie, frankly, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. <laughs> but you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Rewind. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him yes, an answer? Yes, I will. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everything. 
<laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline Free to submit a photo in the Everyday books? Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Never. Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your phone... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Why would I want to rewind that? Oh, press control to undo. Well, I don't... No, will it not let me continue on? Alright, fine. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your- Excuse okay, me, let's talk. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. <laughs> I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh, uh, yes. Just take a picture by the end of today. That could win a contest. No pressure. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Hold shit. I can't tell anybody. That's They'll not much faster. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Uh -huh. Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, so so I need a hammer to break it open. To control me! You are going to get in hella more Why trouble for this hammer? than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. <laughs> yes, you just m almost murdered someone. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Oh boy. This 
excuse me, Mr. Principal, ma'am. Or should I speak to him? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Mm. Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. <sighs> Damn. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I know if I report him, he's pretty tied up with the bureaucracy of the entire town, so it's little awkward and puts a bit of a target on my back. So if I hide the truth, it's like nothing even happened. Yeah. Let's I just go got with sick that. in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, <laughs> I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. What? Where is this coming from? I don't think your parents from? will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. Ugh. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Okay. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Let's try you this look again. A little stressed. I don't think this helps much either. I think it's just sort of. I a, just saw Nathan Prescott. A rock in a, a hard around. place, kind of in decision here. Room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing yeah, a weapon see? in the girl's back. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Okay, she of seems to probably be happier with that. Of won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, you said your scholarship was at stake. God protect that money. 